Well, welcome to Michael Upton's exhibition, which starts today and goes on to the 26th of uh, March. Um, it's a wonderful collection of paintings from his studio estate, so a great number of these have not been seen before. We've got works of his time that he was in America, but predominantly in this show, we have some interesting works from Cornwall. Michael is also one of the first exponents of conceptual art. He was a great breaker with tradition. He believed he needed to paint within the times, if you like. It was the times that conveyed the impression into his paintings. And yet, once again, you find a lovely little picture here, which is, could almost have sort of VR quality about it. There are reflections in the light of this shop in which it's painted, and as you look through the window to passers-by. It's a delicious little picture, and really quite demure for a man, as I say, who was quite an expressionist artist in his early days, and uh, a noisy boy. He was very much into the sort of 60s swinging scene. So they, these are demure items. This picture is entitled A Northern Seaside Town, so we don't exactly know where it is, but it's quite whimsical in as much that uh, you're, 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 you're seeing the view through what might be an ice cream parlour canopy or something like that, and quite often his pictures have got that little whimsical touch to them. Apart from his early exhibitions at both the Redfern Gallery and at the Piccadilly Gallery, he was a regular exhibitor at the Royal Academy. But a lot of his paintings towards the end of his life are of Cornwall when he took himself down there. And here we have a rather exciting picture of Newlyn looking over the rooftops as you do in Newlyn quite often, looking down into the harbour, but with an interesting sort of rainbow showing there. For a man who was at perhaps the height of his popularity, in the 60s. This exhibition uh, contains a large part of his uh, studio works, which were uh, at the latter part of his life. He was a man who was quite capable of painting hugely expressive pictures, but what he wanted to do uh, throughout his life was, was to paint in a way and draw the viewer into his subject so the pictures could be read the way he wanted to see it. I'm, I'm going to just show you one now, titled very simply, An Industrial Town. It's quite Lowry-esque, really, with these little matchstick-type men in the streets and so on. But beneath the picture, beneath the colour, is a sense of him painting on a newspaper, as if he's doing a bit of reportage. This is another favourite of mine, um, and it's of Brixton Prison. Not that I've been there, I have to say, but it's a lovely tonal picture. Again, rather like that townscape, you've got the feeling of paint floating on top of a fairly grey ground, actually, but it's beautifully put in and, and a lovely tonal painting. It makes you think a little bit of Sickert and so on. Some of his pictures depict uh, uh, views and places within uh, Cornwall. This Interesting picture here is, is look, looking over Plymouth. You've got the rather grey, sombre Plymouth on a wet day, let's say, possibly in the winter, with a silvery sort of uh, reflection coming off the harbour. This one here is of, you just see God really light in the distance, is of a crag looking through down to the sea towards uh, the Godly Reavy Light, and that would be, of course, in St Ives. And this picture here is, is closer to home, where he lived in Dorset, and is a view of Lyme Bay and the harbour. Again, beautifully put in, in straightforward and uncomplicated planes of colour. The exhibition, as I've said, goes on to the 26th of March, but we've looked after the estate for many years. Our last exhibition was in 2008, He's a fascinating artist to look at. He's terribly well connected. He's right in the centre of all the great names that were, were, were finding their, their name in the, in the 60s. So well worth looking at. And we look forward to seeing you in the exhibition. We're not open in the gallery until the 12th of April, but uh, the pictures on, are on view here by appointment.